Hey guys, it's Ken from KBD Productions TV. Welcome back to another Kendomic foodie adventure just for you and just for you. I am in the beautiful town of Alcona, Ontario, Canada at this Pizza Pizza because once again, the pizza place has come out with a new chicken sandwich and it is called the Big Buffalo Chicken Sandwich. It is right there. Double your cravings with two breaded chicken breasts jalapeno Havarti cheese, hot banana peppers, and our zesty buffalo sauce. But the last time I did chicken sandwiches at a pizza place, people whined and complained. Why would you go to a pizza place to have a chicken sandwich? Well, because that's what was new on the menu. Go figure. So this time I'm going to appease those people who want to see me eat pizza at pizza places. Plus we're going to do the chicken sandwich on the side. And I noticed this really cool thing here on their menu. The hot and spicy sausage. Is it getting warm in here? Some people just love to brave the heat. So we're going to grab that, grab the chicken sandwich, come back here and eat it with you. Are you guys ready? Let's go. Mushroom. Nice. Ooh. Pan are nice too. Hello. How are you? Good, how are you? All right. All right. I want to try that uh, big buffalo chicken sandwich you guys have. The bottle of Coke. And you want the big buffalo double or the single? The double, of course. Perfect. And I also want to try your hot spicy Sausage. Medium, large, extra large. Medium, please. Anything else? You know, I'm gonna do a brio as well. Thank you very much. <laughs> Woohoo! We are back in the car, ladies and gentlemen. Gonna have to make sure I put this down properly here. All right, let's get out the trusty steering wheel tray and start eating, shall we? So that was the woman's first time ever making that sandwich. So it was kind of fun to watch her make sure she had all the right ingredients. And after she built it, I'm thinking one of the people in there never saw anybody else order it yet. So it was at least that tall. And then she had to unfortunately squish it down so the wrapper would reach all the way around so I'm hoping everybody's happy in this video. I got pizza at the pizza place <laughs> and I at the last second changed my mind or not changed my mind, added a Brio. Let us know in the comments below, what is your favorite beverage of choice when it comes to eating pizza? Coke's usually my favorite. Beer, if you're not in your car maybe. You're at home, hanging out with some friends, family. All right, let's open this all up. Going for a close-up. All right, guys, going in for the extreme close-up of this amazing Friday night special meal here at Pizza Pizza. Over here, we got our very cold Coca-Cola, our Brio, which I have maybe one or two a year. And then over here, we got this pizza, the hot and spicy sausage. So I'm guessing they're using uh, spicy Italian sausage and then those peppers, that's all I can see on there. And of course, cheese. And then over here, this, I, I swear guys, it was about this much taller before she had to flatten it and uh, squish that bottom piece of chicken into the bottom bun and this bun into the top chicken. There's a big slice of cheese in the middle. And if you take that lid off, look at all that sauce. She gooed up both buns with sauce are you guys ready to eat? Let's do it. Well, they made the sandwich first, so it sat a little bit longer. So I'm gonna bite into that because that pizza just came out of the oven like moments ago. Cheers. Uh, I won't be drinking all this at the moment, but I'm gonna definitely be eating this for the rest of my pizza tonight while watching TV. But let's do this brio for sure. Oh. Cheers again. Yeah, it took me a long time before I liked that, but now I enjoy it a lot with pizza. 
All right, here we go, guys. Look at this. It can barely fit together. They're just like, they're like magnets, the opposites. You can see this hole through there. All right, go ahead, scratch it, sniff it. The rest is mine. When, again, when they first put it together, I'm like, I'm gonna have to disconnect my jaw to get my mouth around that, because that is crazy big. Ooh la la. All right, guys, cheers. Wish me luck. All I can smell is peppers, because this has got peppers on it, this has got peppers on it. Ugh. Mmm. Aced it. Mm-hmm. Really nice, crunchy chicken. Like, very, very crunchy. Let's see if we can do another bite so you guys can hear. Are you ready? Nope. I bet that there. Boom. The buffalo sauce is really hot. And then, of course, we've got temperature hot here. And the chicken breasts are just straight up chicken breasts. I don't think there's anything uh, spicy about them at all. But those peppers and that buffalo sauce, geez. Did you hear that? Very crunchy. Hmm. The chicken was frozen. Took it out of the, uh, the freezer. It could have been in the fridge, I guess. And then threw it into the deep fryer. And that's why it's so crispy. Wow. You can get a single or a double, but this is KBD Production TV. Double, please. Mm -hmm. Great, great chicken sandwich. Well done, Pizza Pizza. Ah, yummy. I forgot to go over the price with you guys. So the buffalo chicken sandwich is $12.99. A bottle of pop is $2.49. The can of Brio is $2.29. And this pizza is $13.99. Let's dig into this pizza. I'm like looking through all their pizzas, thinking I gotta eat something I haven't done before. This is not this is something I wouldn't not wouldn't normally order. But uh, I'm doing it for you guys and for me. I would probably never order a pizza and put peppers like that on it. They got that like vinegar kind of flavor to them. And to me that racks a pizza. But this is spicy that I ate that uh, pepper plus a little bit of the uh, sausage there. Pizza Pizza has really good um, spicy sausage. I like putting spicy sausage on certain pizzas for sure. And Pizza Pizza definitely has one of the, the spicier sausages. Mmm. Love their dough. You did a very good job. Nice and toasted brown. How many people love the crust of pizza? I remember as a little kid, never eating the crust. And then as I got older, loving the crust. If the pizza joint doesn't have a good crust, I don't eat there anymore. Pizza, pizza, you got a good crust. Yes, you do. I think in the past we've talked about one of my first jobs ever, and one of them was working at Pizza Pizza. I had one job before that. I worked at a uh, like a greasy spoon restaurant, served souvlaki and veal on a Kaiser. It was a really, really good um, place to work. And then 
we moved uh, a little bit more north. So in Markham, uh, my dad went to go pick up pizza one night, saw that there was a sign saying we need drivers. Pizza places always need drivers. And he and uh, told me to go down and, and apply. So I did, because I didn't know that they were hiring. Went down there. I think I worked at several different locations. Definitely Markham for a long time. And then Unionville. Fun, the, one of the best jobs ever is go to work, get yourself a slice of pizza. If you brought your own box in, they'd make you a whole pizza and you could just take it home after work. That was, that was one of my favorite benefits of working there. Free pizza, I think you had to buy your pot. Makes sense, eh? I have a lot of stories <laughs> to tell you about working late at night for a pizza place. Delivering pizza to parties. Them wanting you to come in and party with them. Going to hotel rooms where scantily clothed people would answer the door. Here's your pizza. <laughs> I can't remember what video we talked about the fact that there is uh, delivered a pizza to this one place earlier in the evening and then again at like one o'clock in the morning and uh, the instructions on it earlier on was go around the back and deliver it there. But for some reason, I'm not sure if the front door didn't open or, but they're all in the basement. I remember getting there knocking on the front door and then remembering, oh crap, I was here earlier. Went around the back, knocked on the back door, nobody but you can hear the music. That curtains on the bottom, on the basement windows. So you could see people moving around in there. I got pizza to deliver people. Knocked on the window and a guy punched through the window with a 12 inch knife. How he had, why he even had the knife in his hand in the basement in the first place. And the fact that he punched through the curtain, through the window. Luckily I knocked and I kind of backed up and then he punched through because if I was anywhere closer, I would have ended up in a hospital. With a stab wound, delivering pizza. Most of the times I felt safe. There were a few times I was a little spooked out. Sometimes they, other stores, in other locations were Friday night, Saturday night, super busy, need a driver at that location more than at your location, or you weren't working that night and they'd phone you up, hey, somebody in Scarborough needs you. So they zip down to Scarborough and that was, that was spooky. I know a lot of you guys live in Scarborough. I lived in Scarborough till I was 16. I felt safe there until some bad things started happening. <laughs> so, the main reason I was scared because you always had money on you, you always had food on you, and uh, some of the drivers had been attacked and just for their jacket, that a pizza pizza jacket, and bad people wanted it, and knifed him, took his jacket. You don't have to knife me. I'll give you my jacket. It looks like you want it more than I do. <laughs> Again, great combination. Brio. And uh, so a lot of people call it, um, what do they call it? The cinnamon. It's like a cinnamon uh, Coke kind of thing. I think some people call it um, Italian root beer. It's almost like a, like a Coke with spice to it, kind of. Again, really nice crush. Oh, yeah. I don't mind dips that you can get with your pizza, but I prefer no, no dip. And as it stands right now, this is better than this. But if I was to, again, go to Pizza Pizza, I probably would rather have a pizza than a chicken sandwich. It's nice that uh, Pizza Pizza is trying new things, seeing how, how, how well the public uh, addresses it, how they like it. If they want more like that, then that's great. Uh, you always gotta try things and see if it works. 
but uh, it is a good sandwich. But when I'm phoning pizza pizza, I want pizza. That pizza is really crunchy. Woo! I'm gonna pulse this off, have one more slice, and I'll be right back. Hang on. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to dedicate this last bite to all you men and women out there who love to watch my videos at one o'clock in the morning. We don't know why you do, but you do. This last bite of this awesome pizza is just for you. Cheers. Mmm, crunchy. All right, guys, on my rating scale, let's rate that big buffalo chicken sandwich double. It is a would recommend, but I'd also like to add, I'd recommend only doing one and don't do the double. You don't need a double. You get the same satisfaction, the same flavors, and the same awesome experience I did without going double. And as for the hot and spicy pizza here, uh, I'm gonna have to give it a an indifferent only because of the peppers. Peppers, hot spicy peppers on pizza just do nothing for me whatsoever. Uh, if you took those off and added some bacon and some other meats on there, it would probably go to a go out and get it now. But forget those peppers. Once again, guys, I'd like to thank every single one of you guys for watching my videos, leaving comments, hitting that thumbs up, and especially to all my channel members who support this channel every single month. And of course, the supporters over on Patreon, you guys rock. If you enjoyed this video and you wanna show your support for me doing these videos just for you, hit it with a thumbs up, ding, 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 ding. But if you're still hungry for more, go check out that playlist I dumped down over there and we'll see you over there. Bring your hunger.